in the last couple of videos, we've looked at how to choose a bookkeeping software and how to test if that bookkeeping software is right for our business. So the natural next step is to get started using that bookkeeping software. Now, any new system is going to be overwhelming. There's a lot to learn, new terminology, new processes, new places for things. So it can become a little bit too much and it can discourage us from actually getting started. Plus, adding to that, it's mid-March already, and if your business has been operating for the entire financial year, you've got a lot of catching up to do. So there's a big temptation to delay. We'll delay it until the end of the financial year, so end of June, and then end of June becomes, well, just delay it until taxes due, end of October. And this perpetual cycle kind of exists unless we take an action to move forward. And really moving forward, taking the action, is learning how to use that software, building the competence with the software, which will build our confidence in using it. So I've put together my tips to help future you, thank current you for getting started today. So how do you really get into using a bookkeeping software? Well, my first tip would be to keep it simple. Small wins will help you build that confidence in the system, in yourself, rather than trying to tackle the hardest thing first. If we try to tackle the hardest thing first, we generally most likely setting ourselves up to fail because we're going to get discouraged. We're not necessarily going to know how everything in the system works. And so my advice is keep it small so you can win. Build those wins and we'll build up to that harder, more complicated part of your accounting. It is important though to know that the software will handle your hardest requirements. So it's not just something we can completely ignore. So my idea is for small wins, something with the smallest quantity. So if you've only sent a few invoices because the majority of your income comes through platforms, maybe start with invoices or if you just have a few um, PayPal transactions, for example, maybe that. If you do have an idea about what might be easiest specifically, you could start with that or something that you're most confident dealing with. So if you're confident with sending invoices, maybe you do start with invoices, even if there's a slightly larger quantity. And then the last tip in keeping it simple is do tiny amounts of things each day. And this probably is the one that builds bookkeeping into a habit most. So if we do small things each day, five minutes, five items, or that sort of like really low quantity, it just helps us to get through. And once we've logged in, the temptation to do a few more will generally start to kick in and we'll get through not just five things, but maybe 10 things or a few days and things just then just seem to um, snowball into getting things done. So tech, second tip for really getting into using bookkeeping software, do one thing at a time. So do all the invoices or all the expenses. Don't jump around from item to item because we learn we by doing and repeating. You don't just do something once and then magically know how to do that. So do an invoice, do another invoice, do another invoice, do another invoice until you've done all your invoices. Linking it back to keeping it simple and winning uh, small wins. Maybe if invoicing is the biggest chunk of your business, you might start with expenses. You might start with your PayPal account or your bank account, that sort of thing. So just aligning this with making sure you're setting yourself up for those small wins. Maybe it's dealing with bank transactions, maybe it's dealing with a particular platform, you know, those sort of things. Do one thing at a time until you're confident doing that thing and then move on to the next. And the third tip, continuously learning. So any new software is going to take time to get used to, it's going to take time to learn and we need to approach it with that mentality. We're not just going to see something once and know how to do it, as I said. So we need to approach it with the mentality of learning. And how can we keep learning? So use the inbuilt help. It is there for a reason. And it's probably where you're going to find the most up-to-date and specific advice for the software you're using at the time you're using it. The second step is join a community. There are communities on Facebook, there's communities within the platforms where you can share and ask questions with other people that use the platform. There's also obviously free information, free videos, uh, free tutorials on the internet that you can search for and people develop courses like I have a course for WAVE specifically so if you're looking for something a little bit more structured to take you through maybe sign up for a course. And then the last tip for really getting into bookkeeping software, and again, this one's more of an ongoing, 
is try to adopt a curious attitude. If you open the program or the software with that feeling of dread, that really is going to discourage you from opening it. Try to just be more curious about what's happening. Apply some, I wonder what this are so like I wonder how many of this product I've sold I wonder um which platform's doing better I wonder how many more sales I've got on Etsy compared to eBay or how many sales I've made in my web shop what the fees are for that web shop I wonder what percentage of profit I've made from income I wonder what percentage profit I've made on Etsy so I sort of apply that curiosity rather than dread and you may not dread it as much so really um, a lot of these tips do boil down to bookkeeping is a habit that you need to get into and it's an ongoing thing it's not done once and then you can forget about it forever and you do remember things better when you schedule it in regular occurrences so pop it into your calendar whether that's five minutes a day uh, half an hour a week or an hour a month sort of thing pop it into your calendar and make it something that is essential in your business because it is giving you information about your business as always, if you need assistance with your bookkeeping software or your processes or really getting started, um, let me know. We can have a virtual coffee, uh, sit down, have a chat and see if I can help you. If you have enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, questions, leave a comment or you can subscribe to the channel and find out when I release these videos.